in uh, mathematical induction and uh, in mathematics what do we say when we say statements what are statements so a sentence or a description which can be judged to be true or false this is called a statement for example 2 divides 6 is it a statement or not 6 by 2 it gives you 3 so 2 completely divides 6 this is a statement and it is a two true statement let me take another example there are five days in a week is it a true statement or a false statement if you see five day week no there are seven days so this is indeed a statement but it is a false statement so when we have talked about statements let us see what are mathematical statements mathematical statements so what are these mathematical statements statements involving mathematical relations these are known as mathematical statements for example this 2 divide 6 it has some mathematical mathematics involved so 6 divided by 2 so it is a mathematical statement but if you take uh, an example of 5 days in a week is it is it a mathematical statement or is it not five days week this is not a mathematical statement because it does not involve mathematical relationship okay so i'll give an example of uh, how do we write this notation and we'll take a few more statements and non statements uh, specifically mathematical statements for example pn this is how we write p1n you can write p2n and likewise so this is the statement or this is the uh, notation of writing a mathematical statement for example we have pn let pn be a statement it is stating that 10n plus 3 is a prime it's a prime so what do we mean when we say p2 this means 10 into 2 plus 3 what is this 23 it's a prime but if you take p3 put 3 here 10 into 3 plus 3 33 it is not a prime it's it is divisible by 3 as well as 11 prime numbers are those which are only divisible by themselves or 1 now let us take a one more example before I can give you the pn and pn plus 1 stuff. If you want to write pn and pn plus 1. Now pn is given by say 7 divides 2 to the power 3n minus 1. Now this is a statement. Now pn plus 1 will be 7 divides 2 to the power 3. Here you put n plus 1. So 7 divides 2 to the power 3 n plus 3 minus 1 so this is p n plus 1 so we'll take an example of this p n plus 1 uh, let p n be the statement which says that 3 to the power n is greater than n so we have to show that if this p n is true it is true for p n plus 1 as well how do we do this so let us write the this p n plus 1 first it would be 3 to the power n plus 1 greater than n plus 1. So this is simply 3 into 3 to the power n or 3 to the power n plus 1 greater than n plus 1. How to get this? How to get this? So now start with this one. 3 to the power n is greater than n. Now multiply both sides by 3. What do we get? 3 to the power 1 and 3 to the power n. So the power adds up. 3 to the power n plus 1 is greater than 3n. And this 3n can be written as... 2n plus n 2n plus n but we know for every natural number 2n will be greater than 1 you put 1 2 is greater than 1 you put 2 2 to the 4 4 is greater than 1 so this will always be greater than 1 so why not to write 1 here so when pn is true we say pn plus 1 is also true from here so this is how we prove it so this is the discussion about the statements and mathematical statements means if uh, 
say something is there and because of this some other thing happens because of the action on this some other thing happens we say that there is some induced effect or induced current induced force like this same thing we are going to apply here the principles of mathematical induction first we know that pn is the referenced statement and we are talking about natural numbers only so first condition is that p1 has to be true that is whatever this expression is if we put 1 that is if p1 is true then for n equal to 1 it is true then we assume that this p n is true and we try to prove it for p n plus 1 so if any n is there and we can prove it for n plus 1 we can always prove it for n plus 2 and this goes and on and on so this is an induction effect so this is the mathematical induction now problems which are based upon the first principle and second principle of mathematical induction is that we need to solve it using certain criteria and to describe this criteria let us take one example the example is like this that we have to prove that this series 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3 n minus 2 this is a series which is equal to half n 3 n minus 1 so we have to prove by the principle of mathematical induction that for all which n that is capital n small n belongs to capital n for all this n natural number this holds or we have to prove that whether it is, this doesn't hold so we'll start with the first step the first step is simply we know that this is pn now we'll check it for p1 so let us check it for p1 so now put here 1 for p1 this result will be 1 this is the left hand side how about the right hand side let us put p1 also here so half n is 1 and 3 into 1 minus 1 so do you get half 3 minus 1 is 2 so you sorry 1 so you get 1 here and you get 1 here that is p1 is true so now we assume we assume that this is true for the second step of mathematical induction is we assume that this is true for any k or any m this is true for any m and when it is true for any m we can just write like this same thing 1 plus 4 plus 7 this is not true for any m now we need to prove it to be true for pm plus 1 so let us write this in the form of pm plus 1 1 plus 4 plus 7 this is already there now we need to add one more term which is m plus 1 so we are writing here m plus 1 here also let it be there we will prove it like this now from here to here this is already we have already said that this is true for pm so for this we can write this one for this left hand side from here to here we can write this right one so we can write half m 3 m minus 1 in this place and what do we get from here 3m plus 3 minus 2 so 3m plus 3 minus 2 is simply 3m plus 1 okay this is what you get 3m plus 1 now we have to prove this that this is equal to half for m plus 1 what this will be m plus 1 for what this will be 3 m plus 1 minus 1 this is what we have to prove from here so now let us take this uh, or multiply this take half common m 3m minus 1 and 2 comes here 3m plus 1 so half you get 3m square minus m plus 6m plus 2 now this is half 3m square 6m minus m is 5m plus 2 and this is what we can make factors of this so I can write this as 3m square plus 3m 
plus 2m plus 2. So here you get 3m common m plus 1 plus 1 2m plus 2. So the factor will 3 be 3m plus 1 and 2m plus 1. 3m plus 1 and 3 3m plus 1 3m plus 1 and then we have this as m plus 1. This is m plus 1. So we have 3m plus 1 and m plus 1. Now this can be written as half m plus 1 and this one is, we can write it as 3 m plus 1 minus 1 because 3 m plus 3 minus 2. So 3 m plus 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2 is 1 only. So this can be written as, this 3 m plus 1 can be written like this. Now if you see this side, this one and this one is exactly similar. So by, by uh, you know, interpreting or by establishing that it is true for m, we established or proved that it is equal for, it is, it holds for p m plus 1 also. So that is how we have proved by principle of mathematical induction, the given, res the given result is true for all n belongs to capital N. So this is the principle of mathematical induction.